Hey guys, we are back at Blade Show. This is Andy. I am host of Guys Talk Knives, smkw.com. We are here out front of the SE booth, and we have got a great guest for you. It's Mr. James Gibson. How are you today, James? I'm doing fine. How are you, Andy? I'm good. Are you having a good show? I'm having a wonderful show. You know, I didn't see you last night. Well, no, I just made it down this morning. Ah, come in day two, taking it easy. Yeah, yes, yeah you I'd have been here quicker, but accident on the road held me up. Uh, so, yeah, I've made that know. excuse a couple times myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's uh, awesome is we are debuting a great new knife that is an exclusive yes. to SMKW, and I heard that you designed this thing and you've brought it with you. Yes, I did. Got it right here, Andy. What are we calling this thing? It's called the JG5. Oh, that's for James Gibson, isn't it? Yes, right? and it's a five-inch blade knife. Nice. The knife is real thin. It's an eighth inch spine, square spine for scraping. Right. The ferrule rod. It's got a uh, what I call a chipped handle on it. Right. So I'm and, wrong uh, every time I call that sculpted micarta. It could be called that. Okay. I've heard it called uh, Rocky Mountain Tread, but uh, right. I call it a chipped handle because I'm a flint knapper. Oh, okay. I chip rock. That makes so, sense. So uh, it kind of makes me think of that. Okay. It's got three uh, three fasteners on it. Got a hole in the tang here for a loop. And it has a uh, what I call a bulb forward handle on it, which gives you a real good control of the knife. Right. And uh, it's got the uh, the Nesmuk look. It's what I call my modified right. Nesmuk. Right. No, that's nice. And, I mean, and I looked up some stuff on George Washington Sears, who wrote under the pen yes. name Nesmuk. And the interesting thing that I found out about George Washington Sears is that he hated big, fat, heavy knives. Yes. He, he was into his axe. He loved his axe, but yes. he was into into small, thin. Uh, skinning knives yes. really for his hip. Well I've looked back through history most of the knives that I see that they used during that day like the Green River knives and such were thinner knives. Right. And they used them to skim with and cut meat every day and they knew what worked. Right. And that's why they carried knives of that fashion and that's why right. I like knives that way too because teaching bushcraft and survival classes these knives come in handy for what we do. Nice. So it's a great knife. Nice. Great, great thing. So this thing is actually going to come in at about one fourteen. At actually at one fourteen ninety nine, which is map price, right? So yes. it is low as it's going to go mm. right now, and yes. it's not going to go any lower. So if you want this thing, get it. It is uh, available for pre order right now. We're looking at eight weeks, right? I think. Yeah, I think it's eight weeks. What eight weeks. Yeah. So you know, something, make something this good. Take some time. We'll get it in and get it ready. But it is available for pre order on our site right now. It is. Correct. Yep, and I you think you can do it at the show. We can do it right here. Of course, this is going to air after the show, but yes. it's going to be that. Now, I hear you've got something else. I'm going to trade with you. All right. Ten weeks on this one, right? <clears throat> yes, ten weeks, they say. This will come out. And what's this one? Uh, this is an axe that I've designed, <clears throat> and uh, they just call it the Gibson Axe. Okay. But as you can see, the profile of the axe. You mean they're not going to call it the Rollins Axe? No, I don't think so. God! <laughs> They could if they want to. I don't mind, right. you know. <laughs> but uh, I designed this with the ideal of using it for just a small utilitarian type action. You can drop in your backpack. Don't weigh a whole lot. But it does come in real handy for carving. I carve a lot of spoons and cook through the wooden cups and bowls. Right. And uh, so I've got the beard on it where you can choke up and use it. That's what I love carving. about that thing. I do too. You can wrap this area here with cord. Mm -hmm. Uh, the head, a lot of people ask me why is the head shaped like it is. Mm -hmm. That's just because I want it that way. Uh, if you look at it, it's got perfect rock. That's when the center of the bit touches and the heel of the handle touches. Okay. And that's called perfect rocker. And it gives it a fantastic balance for carving and use. Nice. Uh, as I was talking about the head shape, I had been studying the Viking horse head. And every time I saw that horse head, it was leaning in like it was pulling a heavy load. Right, right. Its nostrils are flaring. And I feel like I kind of captured that a little bit in this axe. I, I love this thing. It's a nice weight. It yes. is a nice size. It is something you could strap to your pack or to your hip. Yes. And you, you're you not going to notice it too much while you're hiking out, but it is going to come in great and handy when you're at camp. And he'll do more than a small knife will do, that's for sure. Absolutely. So, We've talked uh, about that quite a bit in the past. Yep. That I liked about it. Got a nice leather sheath, nice snap on it. Yeah, we don't know what the price is going to be on this, but no. we're looking at 10 weeks on this right exactly, now. Exactly, yep. 10 weeks. Yep. yep, make something good again, take some time. We're going to exactly, get it filled yeah. up. Well, you know what? We're going to get out of here. I appreciate you talking okay. to me, James. I absolutely do. I Guys, enjoyed it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. We're going to find somebody else to bug at Blade Show. We're going to run away from Essie and head around. Hey guys, this is Andy from smkw.com, host of Guys Talk Knives. We are still roaming around the Blade Show and we found one of the coolest booths here. It is Zombie Tools and I've got Joey Arbor here with us. Joey, how's the show going for you so far? 
It has really been a fantastic show. Lots of people, right? Uh, the tables have been consistently crowded, and uh, there's been so many people just walking by, commenting on the booth. It's incredible. Hey, I tell you, every year I come and you have this booth, I am so drawn into it. It's just amazing looking. Then I see the product, and it just kicks ass. That's all i got to say about it. I love what we make. No, no, it's amazing. I, and I know you have something here to show us, so let's talk about what you brought. Uh, what I brought over here to show you was the uh, Zombie Tools Spit. Okay. It's uh, based off of the Zulu uh, spear sword, the Ikla, okay. and uh, it is one of the meanest, nastiest things that uh, we're making these days. It, it, it makes me cringe and how easily this goes through tough objects. So let's hit some specs on it. So we, how long is this thing, you think? Uh, I believe this one runs about 41 inches. And the blade on it is about a little more, a little less than half than that. Uh, it's think. around 20 inches. Nice. Very, very nice. So the thing that always stands out to me when I look right at your product is the finish on the blades because that's how we get to zombie tools, right? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So, so talk to us about that and how cool that is. Uh, it's no secret. We tell everybody that asks. Uh, it's a straight up ferric chloride acid wash. Okay. And then when after the acid's on, we take uh, aluminum shavings that right. we get from doing the aluminum handles, just right. stuff we scrape off off the floor, right. and sprinkle that just right on the top of the blades. And we don't leave it there very long because the acid reacts very uh, violently yes. with the aluminum. And uh, it gives us this ideal modeled pattern that makes our blades distinctive. I mean, they're beautiful. They are just absolutely beautiful and it is so different from anything that I see here at the show every single year. The other thing that always stands out to me is the quality of your wraps on your handles. We have tried really hard to make those as tight and long lasting as possible. Now are they leather or what are we Oh, wrapping? it is straight up leather. Awesome. Montana I mean, leather. And you can hold that, you can see it, it is just, I mean, fantastic. I love them. It, it really improves the overall look and feel of the entire product. Thank you. Thank you very much. You are welcome. So. I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate your time, Joey. Hey guys, I am here at the Case Booth at Blade Show 2018. I've got Mari Ford with me. Yes, How sir. are you, Mari? Very good, man. It's a great show. Awesome to be here. Awesome. Great to see Smokey so well represented here, and great. obviously Case. Great to see our T-shirts look so I love good it. this year. I love yeah, it. They yes. turned out fantastic. Yep. Well, I know that you have something new coming out. We I do. know you want to show it to us because you just can't wait. I so tell us wait. all about it. Well, you know, Case is known for all of our new products. We do a tremendous amount of new products every year, but this year, something really exciting. Something for the Blade Show especially, because we're doing an assisted opening feature. Nice. We're calling it the Kickstart, and a Kickstart nice. is a trademark for Case. Uh, it, obviously, it just takes a little bit of a little bit of jump, like you're kickstarting right. the knife, and you have the patented assisted opening feature. So, right. this is in our traditional mid-folding hunter. So, with Case, you know, we're not departing from the traditional look and feel right. of a knife. We've got a, a slip joint. We've got a, a traditional bolstered pocket knife with an assisted opening feature. So, right. we feel like for the industry. That's pretty revolutionary for Case, for the Case brand, of course. Awesome. Um, we also get people that ask us, they say, man, is, is Case departing from its raising with a, you know, with a traditional feature? We're not, because Case was making automatic knives in the 1920s. So, oh, wow. So we have a history of that. Obviously, we are more known for traditional, right. but when you look at a assisted opening feature with a clip, uh, you've got knives that I think it's going to appeal to all awesome. generations. So, that's awesome. And that's something that as a brand, you know, we're, we're 129 year old, but uh, we want to make sure that we're relevant with today's consumer as well as uh, the folks that have that have taken such good care of the brand for so many right. years. And it comes in several different pa and, and color, uh, handle materials, right? It, it does. We, we're going to have this in your synthetic. This is a traditional yellow. Obviously, that's, that's kind of a staple in the case line. We also have it in bone stag. We've got mm -hmm. kiranite handles. We've got genuine bone, naturally, of course. Uh, we're going to do it in black canvas laminate. You'll see it in uh, a lot of different, a lot of different handle materials. As with all new products, we will have right. a, we'll have a whole array As, yeah, exactly. of handles, <laughs> including some exclusives that we're working awesome. on with uh, some top customers. So you'll see one of those in awesome. some in some well published catalogs too. So, awesome. real well, excited. Well, Mari, I appreciate your time. I hope Absolutely. you have a great show, and thanks for talking to yeah, us. Yeah, you guys too. It's going to be great, and uh, we appreciate the folks that support Smoky and support the Case brand. So awesome. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Hey guys, we're here at the Spyderco booth at Blade Show 2018, and I'm here with Eric Glesser. He is from Spyderco. How's the show going this year? Uh, so far, it's going all right. We're only a few hours in. One of the things that we judge how well a show is going by is if people like the product 
we're showing. And how much we're um, sweating behind the booth, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah it's uh, just... so everybody's working hard. People like the product. Uh, it's a great crowd this year. Nice. Uh, a lot of great booths. It's been fun so far. Yeah, I noticed that you just put out your mid-year announcements. You've had a lot of great stuff this year so far, stuff that I wasn't uh, normally seeing from Spyderco I'm seeing this year. And I hear you've got something great to show us today. Yeah, it's funny you said stuff you don't normally see. If you go through our mid-year and you go through a lot of what we're showing right now, you don't normally see it. It's a little departure from what we are. Right. Uh, not that we're getting away from who we are, no, but right. it's nice to depart once in a while and evolve yourself. Right. And right. so we're doing a little bit, little bit of that now. So tell us about what you've got here on the right. counter. I'm going to go through three pieces really quick. Um, I'm hoping all three of them are out by the end of the year. Uh, so this one starts with a nice peel ply carbon fiber. It's going to get grip any way you push it, not rip up the pocket. It's got a deep pocket wire clip that's reversible, so you can carry it whatever way you like. Uh, to open it, it has a little wheel here at the end. You can use your forefinger. Nice. Or you could use your thumb. Cool. Both work well. Uh, it's got a little hole here too so that you know where your hand is even when you're not looking at the knife you have a placement for the compression lock you just release it and it's closed nice slim carry in the pocket nice open construction to stay clean uh, this is called the akuchi designed by paul alexander uh, then the next one is the waterway this is being made in the u.s with lc 200n made to be part of our salt series you'll notice there's no hardware on this we have dowels that go through the full tang, and then they're adhered to the 3D G10 handle. So as far as wear and tear and abuse, this handle is not coming off. There's nothing to fall apart on this knife. It's going to come with a Kydex sheath. Uh, as far as the shape and the, the weight and the bevels and the thicknesses, it really is a great everyday carry knife, uh, everyday use. Uh, and then going really high line, we have a Dmitry Sinkovich. Uh, this comes with a 3D carbon fiber that has also a junk, uh, he calls it the drunken pattern, very unique, gives it great grip. Um, it's also on both sides, so it's 3D machined. It's got a Reeve integral lock that has the stainless interface, the over travel stop. It's got a custom clip, custom pivot, custom backspacer that raises, that exposes the lanyard. Comes in S90V with that full flat cuts like a witch. Dimitri brings to the table, it's a highly evolved design and beautifully made. I, I love uh, the color accents that go through that as well. Dimitri again has beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. eye for, for color balance and shape and, and all of that. That's awesome. And so it's fun to get to work with Dimitri on this one. Well, Eric, I appreciate you showing us all three of these. I hope the show continues to go well for you and have a good one, man. Thank you. We're going to go Thank get you. back out of here and find another booth to look at.